Hi, my name is Michelle Long and I teach here at the fabulous Cal State Monterey Bay. And in health psychology, we learn all about creating well-being, healthy thought processes, healthy lifestyle choices, and how to reduce stress. In this class, we actually learned a lot of stress-reducing exercises, like breathing exercises, which I've actually used them a lot with anxiety, which actually helps. So for me, for what I learned in class, you know, both through the lessons and through uh, Professor uh, Long, and through the EMA, it's basically learning how to love yourself. I learned to use breathing exercises when I was extremely stressed, using different mechanisms to calm myself and not always jump to the worst conclusions or do all or nothing thinking. I think what I ultimately learned from this class is that you are ultimately in control of the stress that you receive from your life. Like, I get it when people say that you aren't in control of what happens to you, sure, you're not, but you ultimately choose how you respond to that and you ultimately choose how you cope. What I learned from this class was uh, more on my cope, the coping mechanisms that I had and I took it upon myself to try to explain it to my roommate and my friends of what's going on throughout the day rather than just keeping it in. My family, they're not very good with dietary habits and obesity tends to run in my family. So was, um, everyone tends to stress eat and I've totally turned my back on that. I'm eating a lot healthier now than I did back home. It was also a challenge. I'm starting to cut out more sugary foods, thank God. Um, so with the diet experiment, that was really interesting for me because I like to take things in challenge, like I like to take things in terms of challenges and this was a challenge for me because before I moved away to school here, my diet habits were pretty bad. It brought forward to like face value for me to take that on directly as a challenge and when I did, it was difficult, but by about the third day or so, I actually noticed that my urges to get onto the unhealthy junk foods and things were actually, it was starting to cease and decrease, so I was actually pretty impressed with that. So our app was called The Healthy Helper, and it included questions that covered our nutrition, our water intake, how often we use social media, and how many text messages we sent throughout the day. So it kind of helped us keep track of our health behaviors throughout the day. It also included questions that had to do with coping and how we managed our stress. Also asked us what kind of stressful events we had throughout the day. So it was check-ins so that way we could see what happened throughout our day, how we responded, and if that was really the healthiest choice for us. And if not, then there were better options of maybe how you could handle it next time, for example. This uh, app actually helped me out to cut down on my alcohol during the week and realize that my sleeping was way off. I also benefited from the app because it helped me increase my water intake and decrease sugary beverages. What I learned from our EMA app is to just prioritize. Like for me personally, it's made me drink a lot more water. I got back into like my hobby running, which thankfully for the app, because it asked me about my physical activity. So this is the EMA app. It's major purpose is to bring an awareness of our health into our present. And we have time management study tips, which asks like, have we done our homework? How many hours have we spent our homework? How many texts have you received in the last hour? Zero, I've been busy. It asks us how do we feel during our activity and after? How much stress do I feel right now? None, relaxed, I feel no stress whatsoever. Change doesn't have to be this big painful process. You can, you can start small and take a deep breath and get to know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Um, you don't have to internalize stress, that there's resources for you to take it a little bit at a time. Overall, I think that this has been the most valuable class I've taken at CSUMB. Uh, maybe not for what I am going to directly do with my career, but definitely with how I'm going to live the rest of my life.